times when it is necessary to abandon our humanity to save humanity. Oh, you done fucked up now, Woody Harrelson. Welcome everybody out there in YouTube land. My name is John from Two Angry Ducks and we have another movie trailer review for you here today. Hopefully you've been enjoying the ones we've been doing for you. We have the War of the Planet of the Apes trailer here for you today. Now the previous two kind of had their titles out of whack where uh, if you ask me the dawn should come before the rise but what do I know? I'm just a guy watching movies. The Planet of the Apes uh, series has a lot of longevity to it. I mean that people love it uh, ever since its iconic moment of uh, Charlton Heston knees in the sand, uh, cursing at the Statue of Liberty. Damn you all to hell! Uh, it has maintained its little status quo within pop culture as one of the more original and enduring ideas um, of science fiction. You're following Andy Serkis playing Caesar, who is a, a chimpanzee that was the offspring of two chimpanzees that had been experimented on. And he is the breakthrough that a, a scientist played by uh, James Franco uh, he's the breakthrough he's been looking for because he's trying to get a cure for Alzheimer's going. Our therapy enables the brain to repair itself. It just spirals out from there. <laughs> Caesar was so far as responsible to release the toxin that's now killing all the humans uh, and, and I guess I'll release the ape smart, the uh, whatever the... He's making the ape smarter, that's the main thing. So now at this point in the series, we go from watching him being raised uh, as a young primate with very high intelligence to being the leader of this community of apes whose very presence is just slowly pushing humanity out of the way because the same process that made them super smart is making the humans Human gets sick, ape gets smart. Culling the herd, as it will. The apes finally have a firm upper hand on humanity, as it were. Their numbers are outnumbering them. It looks like they're doing fairly well for themselves. And you only have the crackpots and humanity left, who are Woody Harrelson's character here, who seems to be ready uh, to eliminate them to ensure the survival of the human race, which, under other circumstances, may be a noble goal. But since we've been following Caesar as the protagonist here the entire time, uh, not so much. Probably the most interesting thing, I think, about that trailer that I saw was the fact that we might actually get to see Caesar go a little ape shit at the result of, I'm guessing, whatever Woody Harrelson may have done to his family because that last line in the trailer there I came for you That's not a happy Caesar I wouldn't want to piss off a normal chimpanzee, let alone one that has an upright stance but also Andy Serkis' movements behind him because that's just gonna be one scary bugger Caesar is not too happy about whatever it is Woody Harrelson may or may not have done. I don't know what it was, but he gave some line about humanity. There are times when it is necessary to abandon our humanity to save humanity. I don't think it ended well for Caesar's ape community. The entire series, Caesar has really been trying to, to prove his humanity or to prove that he's more than the common beast. And he's met a human antagonist who tell him he's just an animal, he's just an animal. They're not people, you know. You damn 38! While the entire time he's been elevating himself and his fellow apes. I fight only to protect apes. So it'll be interesting to see this, this balance uh, that Caesar's gonna try to run now, trying to elevate himself above natural instinct and violent tendency and to maintain his humanity in order to keep from reverting back to a beast. But the idea of him having to be so, I have to be better than this. He has to be on his best behavior the entire time to interact with all these human protagonists to prove that he is more than the beast he is. It looks like he's now finally been given a reason to say to fuck with it and Go nuts. So we'll see what comes from that because, like I said, the entire time Caesar has been a very cool, calm, collected character, and to see him go a little nuts there was, um. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Right, it's gonna be a fun movie. Um, the other two uh, Planet of the Apes movies that have come out recently have been spectacular. So I have no doubt this is gonna be another great one and hopefully a nice little button to the entire series. Again, my name is John. Uh, this was a Two Angry Ducks review for the War of the Planet of the Apes trailer. Uh, if you like it, please comment below. Um, or if you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, and um, you have a good day out there, YouTube.